Today we're going to use our Rapagel Easy One Rheology Modifier to transform a metastable milk into a very stable lotion, cold mix processing. Let's make this thing. With cold mix, using less thermal energy means using only liquid water dispersible emulsifiers. We've selected materials that fit the bill. We'll be using a cocktail of nonionic emulsifiers and on a lipid array of emollients that fit our theme of high natural origin content. Rapagel Easy One, employing electrosteric stabilization of our vesicles, will wrap it all up into a nice stable product. Here we have our 1000 ml beaker with the ionized water already mixing at a moderate rate. This being a one pot formulation is important we add the elements for a batch in correct order. We've added PEG-12 dimethicone to reduce our surface tension. Now we'll add butylene glycol to reduce the tack in our final formula. Next, we'll be adding our primary and secondary emulsifiers, both having high natural origin content. Primary being Emulsiderm PG60, polyglycerol 6 oleate, and the secondary being Polysugamose D9, a natural origin surfactant based on polyglucoside chemistry. Now we'll add Lorth 23 from Ethox, which as you can see is a soft solid. The other surfactants now in solution will aid in dispersing this one. All of our surfactants are in solution now. We'll add our selected emollient oils to the batch. We're incorporating a total oil load of 10%, just about right for an everyday moisturizing lotion. Here's Caprylic Capric Triglyceride. Here's one of my favorites, Isononyl, Isononanoate. I call it Isonona, and it adds a silky sensorial component and extended coverage. Finally, we'll add rice bran oil, a 100% renewable botanical oil having a nice array of triglyceride olefins and lending a non-greasy sensorial component, not too different from argan oil, but less expensive and more sustainable. At this point in our cold mix process, having our oil phase completed, we're going to begin homogenizing this for a while to reduce those oil vesicles before we add our rapid gel stabilizer thickener. So let's speed this up to 3600 RPM. I'll take this time to add the remaining components of the formula chassis, the preservative fragrance. Let that blend for several minutes before moving on to our last step. This metastable emulsion looks good. We could homogenize another four hours and make it even better, but we'll let rapid gel take over and complete the job easier. This will disperse and associate much faster with the homogenizer. If you don't have one in your process stream, just allow a longer time mixing at high speed with a standard mixer and you'll get the job done. A baffle tank or one with double motion side scoop agitator will work even better, but this will do best. Rabbit gel comprises a hydrophobically modified acrylate, aqua swelled emulsifier. Once added to water, it requires time to hydrate, swell, and associate with the lipids present, forming a three dimensional matrix. Now we'll add this and let it mix a while. Blending together into a uniform stable solution. Shouldn't take very long, perhaps 15 minutes. Let's see what we have. Looking good with Rapid Gel Easy One, but without wax builders, this product has a very fast break on your skin, perfect for workaday morning moisturizing. We'll spin this in the centrifuge for 20 minutes to check its stability, but we don't anticipate any problem. With Rapid Gel Easy One, you can make lotions, serums, and creams without thermal energy. Just apply a little chemistry, some common sense, and order of addition logic, and it's easy.